I looked at a pair of ready to wear shorts. So I made no me, what is this, 2054 a while ago. And I was wearing these pants in a video and my aunt called me yesterday and she was like, oh, I love those pants you had on. They were in an olive green color. She was like, I love cargo pants. And I put the pockets on the side. She said, with pockets on the side. So I was like, hmm. And I thought about it. Her birthday is this week. So I was like, okay. I'm going to go online and do a search. So I went online, I searched for cargo pants, pocket on the side, olive green, and it popped up in Amazon. So I sent the pants to her. I ordered them yesterday. She has no idea. So they should get there within three days, which is when her birthday is. So I'm so happy about that. And I'm hoping that she will love the pants and I hope that they will fit. And in fact, a couple years ago, I made a dress and I sent it to her. And she told me yesterday that she was gonna wear the dress on her birthday. She put the dress on and sent me a picture of her in the dress. It's just a casual knit dress, but she had never worn it before. And in fact, she said she had never even tried it on, but she's gonna wear it for her birthday. That just made me so happy. I'm so happy to hear that. So I'm on my way to the grocery store but I did pick up some denim fabric and I got quite a bit of it because I want to make McCall's 8511 and I want to make view C I don't plan to do any color blocking though I just want the whole garment to be in this denim here I love the wide legs on these pants it calls for woven of course with the denim this pattern is rated as average I haven't opened it yet haven't looked at the directions yet so when I get into the envelope I'll tell you more about the details in this garment I was at home unpacking my groceries and I got to these mandarin oranges and look at how dark they are so I flipped the lid and they expired in 20 23 so I am about to go and return these and get my money back okay I think this pattern is going to be pretty straightforward I noticed there are no pockets on the back you do have a waistband some carriers a fly front zipper I really want to see how many pattern pieces there are for view C and it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are nine pattern pieces for view C. Here is the layout. Let me see what to expect. Okay, here are the zipper instructions. Okay, looks pretty straight forward oh you have a um, what is this called a back yoke okay front pockets huh this is interesting this little picture here full waistband with right sides together stitch across oh, okay I get it I see what they're doing there yeah okay I'm ready to cut out nine pattern pieces is not too bad so hopefully it won't take me very long to cut everything out and then interface all the pieces that need interfacing and then go ahead and get started well I guess I need this out in order to get started so I'll know what pieces to cut so I don't know why I'm folding it up when I'm about to go ahead and cut everything out. I forgot all about the contrast sides for view C. So you actually need piece four and nine. So there will be a total of 11 pattern pieces. I looked at the finished measurements and I can tell that the pants are gonna be too long. So what I'm gonna do is just cut off an inch from the hem on the pattern pieces that I need. And that way I'll shorten the pattern before I even get started. I know I'm going to probably have to hem it up a little bit more, but I feel safe just cutting off an inch for starters. 
This Mrs. Pattern comes in size 4 and goes up to a size 12. I'm going to go ahead and cut out a size 8. I noticed on the pattern that the largest size that this pattern comes in is a size 22. I got to piece 12 and when I saw this I was like oh yeah I forgot to mention the notions. So you will need a zipper and a button for the fly. View C does call for a lot of fabric. So for the size 8 I purchased four and a quarter yards of denim. Within the first three steps, you're already putting in your zipper. So I have the fly zipper in, and now I'm gonna go ahead and stitch these side front pieces to the front of the pants. Pattern piece number six is right here. I didn't cut it out because it wasn't listed here. I failed to look up here at the interfacing pieces. So I actually need to go ahead and cut this out if I plan to interface my pockets, which is what I would do here on the next step, which is step number five. So I will go ahead and cut out piece number six and cut it out in interfacing so that I can add it to the pocket. I have piece number six cut out in interfacing and fused to the wrong side of the pocket facing pieces. I'm almost done with the pockets. I have them pinned. So I just need to stitch them. But this is how the pants are looking so far. And look how wide these legs are. I love it. There is top stitching done along the back yoke. I just used the same thread. So you can't really see it, but it is there. The back is done and now I'm going to go ahead and attach the front of the pants to the back of the pants. I am just about ready to work on the waistband, but this is how the pants are looking so far. It looks like a skirt, but you have the pockets, and here I am again on my tippy toe, so you can see. And then here's the back. So I'm almost, almost done. I wanna talk about the carriers for a minute. There are dots on the pants where the carriers are supposed to go. You're supposed to baste the carriers to the waist before you attach the waistband. I looked at a pair of ready to wear shorts I like how the carriers are attached to the outside of the jeans instead of going through the waistband. So what I did was I moved the dots down about a half inch and I attached the waistband and when it's time for me to attach the carriers I'm just going to attach them on the outside similar to how it is on ready to wear. I'll just stitch it down at the dots and then stitch it at the top where it belongs on the waistband. I just pinned the waistband down and now I'm gonna go ahead and stitch in the ditch to catch in this folded edge. I have the waistband completely on. Here's the dot for the carrier. So I folded the carrier in a little bit, like 3 8 of an inch. And I'm just going to pin this down here and stitch it across and then I'll take it up here at the top. Once this is attached at the bottom, I'll attach it up here at the top and I'll do that all around the waistband. So I have five carriers to do. I decided to use a jean button to finish off the pants. I am really, really happy with the way these pants turned out. I'm absolutely loving this pattern. I paired the pants with a simplicity top pattern and I love this top pattern also. And in fact, I've made this top three different times in three different denim fabrics. I got these hanger extenders in the mail and I ordered them online and they look like this. There's a little face on the front. I don't know if that's a cat or what it is, but this is how it looks from the side and the top. And I grabbed a wooden hanger. 
although I use plastic, this is my husband's hanger, but you slip this little extender over the hanger. Oh, I didn't get it in there right. Here we go. And then once you place the hanger down, then you have this little section here where you can place another hanger on top. So I'm going to use this plastic hanger as an example. You can slap that on the front. And then now you can hang another garment on your other hanger. So I'm actually hanging garments together that I wanted to stay together. This is a pajama top and then I made these pants to match. So I'm just going to hang this on the hanger so I'll have the set that I can just keep together. And then I have a couple of other garments that I need to do this to. So that's what I'm doing. I found another set. There's a top and here are the matching pants. So I'm going to hang this on here so I'll have these together. And you do get 20 of these little clips in the pack that I ordered. When I have a package that is being delivered from Amazon, the delivery person won't ring the doorbell, they won't knock on the door, but what they will do is place the package on the porch and they'll take a picture of the package on the porch and then I'll get an email with the picture showing that the package has been delivered. It's probably like that for a lot of people. Well, a little while back, I was at home, on the couch watching TV, I got a notification that an Amazon package was delivered. So I looked on my phone, I opened up the notification, I saw the package on the porch, so I was like, oh, okay. So I walk over to the porch and I open the door, look down, no package. I'm like, what? Because I had just gotten the notification. So I walk out onto the porch looking up and down thinking okay maybe somebody grabbed it or something right nothing so I go back in the house and I'm like defeated I'm like oh my gosh this is crazy so I told my husband what was going on so he was like let's get in the car and look around and see if we see it maybe they put it on somebody else's porch by mistake so I'm like yeah 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 let's do that we jump in the car and we drove around the whole block. So he's looking on his side of the car. I'm looking on my side of the car. And we're looking on people's porches from the street. Like, no, no, I don't see it. I don't see it. We get all the way back around to our house. No package. So I get out of the car. And I'm like, let me open the app. I open up the app and I see the contents of the package. It was then that I realized the porch that the package was delivered on was not my porch. It was my sister's porch because I had ordered something for my sister and they delivered it to her house, put it on her porch, took a picture of it, and then sent me the notification saying, your package has been delivered, the one that I ordered to go to my sister's house. I was like, oh my goodness. So I felt better knowing that I didn't lose anything or no one took anything off the porch. So I was like, oh wow. So I said all that to say, I got a notification yesterday. It was a picture of someone's porch. It was my aunt's porch. And the pants that I ordered her were delivered on her birthday which is wonderful so I immediately sent her a text message and said hey I sent you a package it's on your front porch so she got up got the package and then she called me and told me she got the package the pants she tried them on she said she loved them she loved the color and she said they fit so I'm so happy about that